Okay, it's been a while since I've done a video, and my apologies for that. Just uh, getting a few, some treatments I'm getting at the moment, unfortunately, knocked me out for a few days at times, and uh, uh, and I'm just not getting sleep, as some of you have seen on my Facebook page, um, with me buying up on 5am uh, and 4am uh, purchases of um, everything from power supplies out of uh, uh, Adelaide to, oh God crows and lots of things anyway I've been very active during the early hours of the morning when I can't sleep um, but uh, I thought it's time to get back out here in the uh, workshop and just l at least restore or play with something anyway today's little restoration um, got this all up and running um, it uh, came in from oh, somewhere somewhere around Australia this week and uh, um, I can't remember where it came from to be honest um, and um, pretty worse for wear but um, uh, FT7s just as a, a bit of a guide the reason I've still got the covers off I just wanted to sort of show you let me just turn that off for a minute um, they, they tend to get little oscillation problems and you'll find and I haven't even really finished on this um, see all the dirt and muck in there now if you can imagine there was 10 times more of that in there we've still got to go through and sort of finish off just get a little bit more of that out um, but you'll find this board here and this one here can give you like a tick 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 oscillation noise that um, generally um, clean them out. Be very careful with these contacts though. A lot of people think you can solder them and and um, you know and, and look the best you can do is clean them and uh, give them a very light sandpaper and that seems to sort of uh, you know get away with it but you definitely don't want to go playing with the contacts too much down the bottom just clean them out um, usual story of you know get deoxid d5 over everything that you can and um, but very very lightly on all these boards um, they have a few issues that can uh, that can sort of come your way so i'm just noticing too i'm a bit concerned about what crystal that is um, Let's have a look here. Oh, it's a 10A. It's all right. It's okay. I was just thinking I wouldn't be surprised if that was a 11 meter crystal, but no, that uh, uh, seems all right. Anyway, so basically, yeah, you can get. Actually, I should have really not fixed it so fast to show you the um, the oscillation they get, um, and um, and it won't be the last time an FT7, you know, this FT7, any FT7 gets a problem with uh, board contacts. Um, generally, with your FT7, just give it a good clean out get as normally they're full of dust and gunk and it's all around so turn that down uh, and that's your, your biggest problem um, just to give you a bit of an idea though that's sitting there at um, uh, 0.5 of a microvolt and um, that's that's just receiving beautiful I actually took it down to point I could get it down to 0 0.05 which is minus 133 and I can still just hear it um, oh, so let me turn another radio down here it's better um, but at point 158 it's noise free um, minus 123 dBm so not bad not bad at all um, and I actually went through the bands and um, actually let's just put uh, uh, 7.1 oops uh, 7 100 and uh, now that's at point 0.1 there let's put that up to point 0.5 and we're hearing it quite well at 0.1, but at 0.5 of a microvolt, my God, it's it, it's you know really super sensitive, which is good. Um, let's get rid of that and let's have a look at some transmit. Um, I'll just go to. Oh, I'll have a little bit of a quick look. Hello, one, two, three, four, five. As you can see, we've got something happening there. Hello. Yeah, it'll be just under 20 watts, um, which is you know about what these things were meant to do, and. Uh, you know, not bad. If I go to CW, uh, what are we on? 40 meters, 17.3 watts. Now, keep in mind, you've also got your little tune control there. So, let's just have a look here. Well, I'm adjusting my tune control. Let's we'll see what you know. We were, I think I was pretty peaked on there, but let's just have a look. Yeah, it was probably pretty much on where it needs to be. Um, so, yeah, look, great little radios, and look, a lot of people. Um, find them extremely collectible I, look i like them i really do i've, I've always liked the ft7 range um but uh, uh much to my surprise uh, i actually was it was um look long story short that uh, uh you'll see this one come up soon uh we we actually have a i found it uh in our stock a um mint um <laughs> i only just pulled it out actually uh in the box one that's sitting there thinking we bought this one in thinking uh that uh uh, I still, I've got a, a 7B that's really, really nice, but I didn't think we had a nice FT7, but we do. Anyway, so that's all good. Um, but look, this one was bought going, 
it wasn't going when it got here but look I, I don't even I don't even talk about these sort of things anymore I just fix them and just go right you know I, you know I don't even ring the person and say oi what's going on with this thing it is just so much quicker just to get into it and uh, and sort it out but look pretty pretty clean actually for what it is as I said we might just clean a little bit more dust out of it uh, 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 I think it came down from Queensland I can't even remember who I bought this from to be honest um, uh, as you see, I've just disconnected the speaker for the moment. I always run things on external speakers when I'm doing tests and bits and just so I can whip the radio over. We've cleaned all the band switch areas, etc. Now, this is probably something that's also crucial. If you find that something on FT7 is not working, transmit, receive, etc., nine times out of ten, it'll be in this band switch area somewhere. Um, and when I say that, uh, give it a good spray. Um, you know, obviously, give it as you're spraying it, give it a good turnaround and make sure that you're really, you know, giving it a good sort of... Uh, uh, a spray of deoxidant and, and being able to actually you know wear it in nicely that's all right i'm just having a play here um but yeah look the other thing too um clean out your calibrate controls they can get a little bit um a little bit nasty at times uh, uh you, you'll find they can uh, actually be quite a, an annoyance uh in the fact that they get dirt in them and all of a sudden um uh because they have such a fair bit of swing in them if we go back to 7.1 uh, let's have a look here with a generate and as you'll see, um, the calibrate swings quite away from left to right. And that's gone again. Let me just put a bit more in there. That's better. As you can see, see how that still crackles away a bit there? As you go down there. Yeah, we've still got to put a bit more dioxid into that. Just let me spray that. Hang on. Yeah, so don't be scared to do that too. With this one, I've had to... Um, See how now I'm losing that scratchiness that was there? So that scratchiness is the, the pot that is um, in trouble. Generally, once you've got them cleaned up like that, they'll be good for quite a while. But at some stage, yeah, look, make sure you're getting in. And um, and just so you know, these you can spray through the front here. Uh, it's a little slider uh, pot and a little linear pot that um, you can get to uh, just by spraying straight through. And uh, everything else, though, all these other controls, you've got to come in uh, through the backside, etc. And uh, they're, you know, just you use the um, uh, these long yellow pieces here to uh, to get into spots, and you'll be right. Uh, pretty accessible. The FT7Bs are not too bad. Um, and uh, after all this mucking around, it still transmit. One, two, three, four, five. It sure does. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Test, test, test. Yeah, well, that's good. Yeah, look. Um, it's probably going to end up with somebody that's a bit like me that collects old crap. <laughs> it's, um, uh, we'll see. Let me get this radio back in place. Okay, so I thought we'd throw some covers back on it. What the heck? Um, this one's, you know, it's probably not as, well, it's not, I'll be honest, it's not as clean as the one that um, we've got for our uh, sample sitting in that box over here. Um, but um, if someone's looking for a, an FT7 that actually works, and yeah, it seems to actually work all right. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, one, two, yeah. No, that's good. Um, this might be for somebody, but anyway, we'll we'll deal with that a bit later. Um, someone's repainted the covers at some stage. They haven't done a bad job, actually. I've got to say, um, you know, sort of. Uh, but uh, ah, you know, is what it is. Uh, it seems to uh, seems to work right, which is uh, not how it arrived here. Anyway, we'll post it up somewhere at some stage, or probably just put it back on the rack for now and worry about it later. But uh, um, but yeah, just good to do a bit of a refresher on um, FT7s and some of their common little faults. I mean, look, um, even though the guy sold it to his faulty, uh, look, this has only taken 40 minutes to, to you know, to sort out. Um, a lot of problems on FT7s, um, people panic, and um, especially the ones that end up resoldering boards. Like when we get them in, and those boards we were mentioning before that have been resoldered, and, oh, uh, man, that's that's difficult. Um, you know, in theory, I would have thought the resoldering, yep, might have had some benefit, but no, no, it doesn't. Uh, it really doesn't. And um, try not to uh, bend any of those uh, brass looking sort of pin uh, sorry the little connectors um, where the boards fit into as well very easy to get one of those um, a little bit out of uh, skew with and uh, you want to make sure that and uh, once again uh, you really need to be careful with those two they're just as important in regards to um, uh, getting contact but overall um, I don't think I've got an antenna into this room at the moment I'm just thinking oh, we've got towers down at the moment um, I've got one tower back up what's on that one let me just test something. I've got to, I've got to have a think about this. Okay, well that worked out very fast. That uh, no, I can't do an antenna test in here at the moment. 
that would be because we've got one of our towers, uh, the three section alleys down with about four antennas on that down at the moment. And uh, yes, one of them feeds into here that I normally run. And um, uh, and I've also had to disconnect. We normally have a random wire that comes off that tower, which is uh, the one that sort of runs into here, which I've just realized that's lying on the decking at the moment. So anyway, no one air test, but anyway, you get a bit of an idea what uh, the old FT7 does. And uh, she's, um, she's a bit of fun. All right, 73 is to you. We'll throw this one up at some stage, but uh, um, let's uh, hopefully just don't forget, give them a good clean out, and uh, they'll, uh, oh, they'll, they'll look after themselves pretty well if you look after them just a little bit. All right, 73 is all the best.